y'all. I did that. You guys, I have two days until this psychiatry self exam and it is three o'clock in the morning, technically on Wednesday. So I literally have like a little over two days to study for this shelf exam. So I wanted to do a quick video and show you guys how I'm studying for my shelf exam. So please take note that this is my first clerkship, my first rotation of third year, and it is definitely a learning curve on how to prepare for shelf exams. So I'm hoping I'm doing everything right. You know, I got a lot of advice from my mentors and we're gonna see how it goes. Because this rotation was shortened, it was only three weeks because of COVID. And the first week I was just trying to adjust and try to find time to sleep after working a long day of work. And it was just a mess. So I really only had like a week and a half to two weeks to really prepare for the shelf. And of course last week I was just chilling. So now I'm like playing catch up. And hence I'm in the study lounge of my school at 3 a.m. So don't be like me. But for right now I'm just finishing off with, I am watching some videos. Her name is Emma Holiday, And she does these videos of all high yield topics about every clerkship. And she has a PDF document as well high yield psychiatry. So I'm just finishing up watching her lecture. It was only two hours looking at her PDF document. Then I'm going to get some sleep and tomorrow is going to be a grind. All right, guys. So as far as studying for shelves go, everybody's a little different. I've heard many different opinions on which resources to use and whatnot. But for me, I've learned about four heavy hitters that I try to incorporate into my studying. And they are online med ed, UWorld, AMBOSS, and MBME. So these are the four that I personally am going to use for every rotation moving forward. Psych was a little different because it was shortened. I only had three weeks. Really, I only had two because the first week I was honestly just trying to adjust. So because I had very limited time, I had to be very selective and figure out what I was gonna do, which resources I was gonna use in order to have the most return on investment in order to be most efficient with my time. So I did not do online med ed for this clerkship. I just used UWorld and went through all of the site questions in UWorld. I did AMBOSS's Psychiatry MBME seven day study plan. So it was a little bit of review material and questions. So I went through that as well. And lastly, I did all three psychiatry MBMEs. Because MBME is the organization that makes the shelf exams, they are most predictive and their questions are most reflective of what an actual shelf exam would be like because it's the same company that makes the exam. So basically what I would do is I would work nine to three, nine to four, and then go and study stay at school, go to the study room and study. And then leading up to the exam in the last few days, I was grinding. So you could see I was in the study room until 3 a.m., 4 a.m. and really hitting it hard because I was so limited on time. So overall for my psych shelf exam, my studying consisted primarily of AMBOSS, UWorld and MDME. All right guys, so I took the shelf on Friday and it is currently Wednesday. So it took a few days for them to get the grades back. However, I logged on today, we got an email that our grades were up and I logged on and saw that I had got a 90% score on my shelf exam. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys the system here. When I log in, you can see that my grade says a 90 slash 100. The first score is the raw score. The second is the curved score. So our psych shelf was curved 10 points. Every rotation and shelf exam will be curved differently, but this one was 10 points. So you can see here that my raw score was a 90 and my curved score thus was a 100. So in order to honor the psych shelf exam, you needed to get above an 86% raw score. Raw, not with the 10 point curve. So you can see I got a 90, which means I honored the shelf. Ah! Like anyone who knows me knows that I am so transparent and open about my, you know, education and about my journey through medical school, hence these videos. And I was not a great student my first two years at 
all. If anything, I would tell people like, don't do what I did. Like do this instead, do that instead. I would literally mentor people on the grounds of like, don't be like me, be better than me. So my first two years were a struggle, a struggle. Thankfully, I never had to like repeat a class or a grade or anything, but I was getting by through the skin of my teeth, you guys. Like, thank God for a pass fail curriculum. But anyway, that's a conversation for another YouTube video. But once I got to the clinical years, I wanted to make it a point to be better, to show that the classroom is just not for certain people. And me, I'm not one of those people. I wanna see patients. I want to talk to people. I wanna use the skills that are gonna make me a great doctor. So part of that is obviously our clinical evaluations and our time you know, working with patients. But another huge part of that is shelf exams and taking these tests. So I wanted to prove that I am not a one trick pony and that I could do well at these standardized exams. So I'm so glad that the psych shelf, you know, was my first success. And while I did honor the shelf, I still am waiting on my clinical evaluations from the doctors I worked with and some other scores to make sure that I'm above a 90% overall for the course and then I will honor the course. So I'm just super excited. Like I feel like this set the tone. This really gave me the boost and the confidence that I needed because imposter syndrome is real. Um, I talked a lot about this throughout my medical school journey and sometimes we need that little positive affirmation that we can succeed and we can hang in there with the best of them. So this was that for me. And it definitely gave me the little kick in the butt that I need to keep the bar where it is and to make sure that I'm succeeding at that level because came out strong and I gotta keep it going. And me, I'm the type of person that needs to give myself like, you know, positive reinforcements to make sure that I work hard and keep up the same momentum. So I bought myself two pairs of fig scrubs Figs are these that I'm wearing right here. I love them, they're so comfortable, but they are so pricey, you guys, like compared to other scrub companies. So I bought myself two pairs once I found out that I honored the shelf, and that was just a little treat to myself to make sure I continue working hard, and that's how I, you know, keep myself stimulated and engaged. So yeah, guys, that's all, you know, psychiatry is done, over with, and I honored the shelf. Hopefully, I also honored the Course. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to honor the course as well, but fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, that was psych. And now, you know, I'm on Nero. I have a video dropping very soon. I wanted to drop this one about psych and the shelf and all of that before I drop the new Neuro video. So that'll be coming this weekend to show you guys how my first week of Neuro is going. And yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for following this journey. Um, please leave me a comment, any questions you have, any thoughts you have, any content that you wanna see. I'm going to try to be pumping out more content on my weekends. I've got a lot of requests to just talk about more about like the journey and medical school and you know even being a black woman or underrepresented minority. So I definitely have some content coming for you guys, but as always, leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any ideas or questions, make sure you like this video and subscribe and stay tuned until next time. Love you guys.